Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Google Pixel 8, been using this phone for quite a while now, I ended up getting it with the Google Pixel Buds Pro. Now let's talk about the phone here. Uh, what we have here is a 6.2 inch screen, on the bottom we have a couple speakers, USB-C for charging, then on this side we have the volume rockers, power button, uh, microphone on top, and then on this side we have the SIM card slot, no SD card expansion. Behind the phone, we have dual cameras with the flash. I'll talk more about those later. But the whole look of the phone looks really amazing. I do love how they set up the cameras here. They kind of all over the phone and there's a little lip here so the cameras are raised. I definitely recommend getting a case, but the phone overall looks really good. You can get it in three different colors. And then also, if you end up going with the Pro model, there's more colors as well. Um, now, the whole phone fits inside my hand now. Nicely. Honestly, the more I use it, the more I love it. I, I think this is the perfect size. The previous model, which I do have, Google Pixel uh, 7, did have a bigger screen, but it just didn't feel as comfortable inside the hand. This feels really, really good. Next, let's talk about the display. 6.2 inches, 2400 times 1080 pixels, 22 9 ratio, 424 pixels per inch. This is a LED display with 120 hertz refresh rate. When it comes to the screen to body ratio, 86.95%. And this phone also has 2000 nits of brightness. So this phone gets extremely bright. Uh, you can end up using it in the middle of the day on the sunniest day and the screen will look amazing. So when it comes to the overall screen, it's beautiful. You have 1080p resolution, 200 nits of brightness, OLED display with 120 hertz refresh rate. So the screen itself is definitely amazing. Now let's talk about the performance inside the phone. We do have Google Tensor GT CPU, which is Google's own CPU. A pretty speedy processor. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, I ended up playing quite a lot of games, uh, playing videos, multitasking, stuff like that. And everything, this phone just crushes everything, to be honest. This phone also has 8 gigabytes of RAM. When it comes to the storage, you can get in 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. Keep in mind, there's no SD card expansion. Um, now let's talk about the performance. As I mentioned, GT CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, day-to-day uh, -day stuff. I mean, this thing is very, very speedy. I mean, I do have the Pixel 7 and that phone was pretty fast and still fast. And this one is just really fast and very future proof. Now, speaking of that future proof, this phone will end up getting seven years of Google updates, which is just insane. So now when it comes to the battery inside the phone, we do have 4,575 million battery. This supports fast charging and cheap wireless charging as well. The battery itself lasts really long time. It's, it's actually more improved than the Google Pixel 7. I did notice that. The standby on this phone is really amazing as well. Uh, now let's talk about the cameras on the front. We do have 10.5 megapixel front facing camera. Now behind the phone, we do have those dual cameras as I mentioned. So we have 50 megapixel main camera with the aperture of 1.7 and then we also have a second full megapixel ultra wide with the aperture of 2.2. Uh, this phone of course records in the 4k at 60 fps and the cameras of course can record in the 1080p full HD resolution at 240 frames per second. Okay. Now the cameras are of course amazing but the best thing about the uh, this phone and the cameras is its software. There's so many different smart AI options you can do. Uh, you probably have seen commercials where you know they take a picture and then they can make the self jump and stuff like that so you can move yourself up you can end up deleting somebody from the picture and stuff like that and it works really good and now I can definitely expect more updates for the software but it's going to get even better so far it's been really fun to use still haven't discovered 80% of what this phone especially the cameras can do um, it is kind of newish phone it just came out uh, so what more can i really say about the google pixel 8 it has amazing screen it fits inside the hand really comfortably it also has really good performance good battery life and amazing cameras overall this is a really good phone and i would definitely recommend that thank you guys for watching